So I think I think the Apple's strategy is largely going to be organic when it comes to TV. Um, it's, it's been fairly well communicated that they're looking to invest in, in sort of a small slate of very high quality content. And the aim of having that sort of smaller but high quality offering alongside the other streaming services, that that's the sort of niche they want to have rather than be one of those big holistic platforms like some of their other US peers. And I think the aim of that that sort of strategy is to pull people towards the wider Apple ecosystem and, and, and hopefully be able to cross-sell other products on top of it rather than being sort of a, a big revenue driver for the time being. Obviously, that strategy could, have, could evolve through time. Well, speaking of cross-selling, there has been a lot of talk recently about the big push that Apple has made with Apple Music. What did we learn uh, on the earnings call yesterday around how Apple Music is doing? And do we have any insight into whether they're taking significant market share from Spotify, which has obviously been the dominant force in that space in recent years? Yeah, it's, it's a tough one, really, um, to get to get proper data on. But um, the, the, because the disclosure from, from Apple across their services business is relatively low, so we don't really have much in the way of subscriber numbers. Um, but that product continues to scale well, and, and I think it's, it's, it's again going to be one of those products that potentially has lower gross margin long term for services, but is another useful addition to the portfolio in terms of improving the stickiness of the, of the wider Apple, Apple ecosystem.